Long ago, two companies came together in unholy union. Both shared a love for the world they would forge from film into paper. Neither knew what was in store for them. Neither could fathom the repercussions. In the year of our show, 2008, they combined their respective talents and set out to forge a new world from the fires of Mount Snark. There, in the loathsome pits of that sulfurous caldera, which is just down the road from Kroger's on the west side of Hokopanika, Michigan, they drew forth a new game based on an old movie. This time, it was different. This time, it was bigger and fueled by the Cortex game engine. The story would be told by the viewers, and the outcome dependent on their input. The setting was changed to incorporate new themes and ideas. The history rewritten. The characters embiggened. Embig... Embiggen? That's not a word. Yes, it is. The president said it. That's stupid. The president did not say embiggen. He did. He said withdrawal from Iraq would embiggen the terrorists. No, he didn't. That's idiotic. The president of the United States does not talk like that. He totally did. In 2006, he used to say funny things like that all the time. Oh, you're talking about Bush. Oh, okay, yeah, that does sound like something he would say. Damn it. Great, look, we totally screwed up the text crawl. It's all balls up on the screen. How does that even happen? How does a guy who says Embiggen get elected president? Oh, for the love of... This is Demon Hunters, the role-playing game. Alright, welcome to the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch. Before you are cleared for active duty, you need to complete your combat simulation runs. Your abilities have been generated by the Most Holy Order of Point Allocation Oversight, and we're nearly ready to begin. Why don't you go around and introduce yourselves in a quick and concise fashion? Since you creatures suffer so badly from anticipation, I'll go first and get the good parts out of the way early. I'm called the Athenian by your fledgling order, after the city in which the Brotherhood first approached me. So they mentioned ancient Greece? No! Athens, Georgia. I wasn't in this neck of the woods when your ancient Greeks developed so many of you humans' hot, sweaty customs. My skills include destroying any foe worthy of entertaining me and restraining my utter contempt for your infant race. Real people person, ain't you? Yes. Hello, my name is Hans. I'm an anime impersonator, super scientist, engineer, and inventor. I love the feeling of a meteor hammer smashing into a skull. My inventions push the boundaries of what scientists think is possible in my outfits. Well, people think there's a limit to rakish good looks, but I push that as well. Name's Beauregard. Beauregard Hunter. I'm here because a demon killed my wife, killed my boy, and ate my dog. Didn't much cotton to that. Still miss that dog. Friends call me Bo. So what are your skills? Sneaking, tracking, shooting. I'm what you call a hound of the wild hunt. Impressed the Earl King so much he juiced me up on pixie dust. Got me a magic bow. Wow, never met a real life fairy before. Loud girls just said has them, but that's not magic. That's Gen Con. I don't know what any of those words mean. Well, I hate to be the bear, but it seems like we're short a player. I don't really think I can make this work with only three of you. I'm afraid the campaign's canceled. Unless... The, the Purple, Purple Ninja. Ninja! General, I am how you say, Purple Ninja. I will battle your player absentee problem as the Yak battles the Vulture. Smelly! And with no sudden movements, like so! The central theme of the Demon Hunter's world is the supernatural Earth, where the forces of heaven and hell are squabbling for control. Between them are all of the other supernatural forces that tend to inhabit modern fantasy settings, such as vampires, werewolves, fairies, ghosts, ancient gods, and whatever else you can think of. And I mean it when I say whatever you can think of. Sharing the stage with these magical beasts are magicians of every possible stamp, super scientists that can teabag physics with their wacky devices, and every kind of monster you can dream up, from zombies to half-angels to gems. The basic idea is that the top brass of both good and evil signed a strict non-interference treaty with regards to the Earth. However, only the direct agents of heaven and hell are considered in the agreement. If a rogue demon were to foment corruption and chaos in the mortal world, the princes of hells can shrug and say, well, we told him not to. Clearly heaven needed some sort of response to this sort of thing, which is where your players come in. Characters are members of a group called the Brotherhood of the Celestial Torch, an agency that is sponsored by heaven but populated by mortals. Their sole purpose is to hunt down and destroy supernatural evil that threatens mankind. One thing that I really like about this game is its comedic angle. Keeping in line with the movies that inspired it, The Demon Hunters is very much an action flick, but also very comedic, if those things are mutually exclusive to begin with. The biggest compliment that I can give the setting is that it keeps a humorous edge without devolving into Buffy the Vampire Slayer levels of almost stupid but just short of that. I give it a chamber for being both faithful to 
and an improvement on the setting that it's representing. Now, once again, I'm going to sound a bit like a wet blanket here, but I'm generally no great fan of comedy RPGs. More often than not, I feel that they quickly devolve into farce, and from there degenerate into an unplayable mess. Which makes this one a standout. I don't know quite why, but Demon Hunters works for me, and I had a blast playing it. Something about the black humor, the gleeful body count, and the absolute lack of shame gives the setting a bizarre sort of charm. So I'm gonna give it a thoroughly confusing chamber. Unlike Jay here, I love comedy games, and this is definitely that. The flavor is perfect for being transposed over any locale you can imagine. While a lot of the flavor focuses on religious parody, there is plenty of other mythology on the table to play with, and it's customizable enough to create your own. The humor of the world, as well, is incredible and makes it even more enjoyable. I'm a huge fan of the Dojo Origato, for example. It gets a chamber from me. Love you if I could. in the abandoned shopping center has stopped sobbing, but still looks very terrified. You're not quite sure if she can continue. Don't be scared, man grub. If trouble arises, simply wedge your supple body twixt our masculine frames. <laughs> what? I think what our fearless leader is trying to say is if a monster appears, get in the middle of us and we'll protect you. Obviously, because that's what I said. In the meantime, hang out with Hans here. I'm sure you can find all kinds of common interests, like dresses and pretty ribbons and other things that little girls like. I, uh, I do like his ears. You see there? She likes your ears. And that's called diplomacy. Have my transfer papers gone through yet? Why are you like this? Behind you, the corpse you are investigating swells and bursts. Thousands of maggots boil up from inside of it, coalescing into a humanoid form with menacing red eyes. It reaches for the girl who has been left unguarded while you bicker. I use my meter hammer to wrap her torso and pull her to safety. I'll spend a plot point. Beast, you are completely revolting. I wish to destroy you. Identify yourself and your allegiance, and I may not be allowed to do that. Are you mindless or sentient? More sentient than you lot. What the hell does that mean? It means you're all stupid. You heard him, boys. He owes his allegiance to Satan. Open fire. All right, I will defeat this beast. Spotted Eagle Strike! Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a botch. The demon drives its fist into your skull, through your chest cavity, and out the butt area. You are extremely dead. But the purple ninja never loses. We'll consider his streak broken, y'all. Well, as the mongoose fails his trigonometry exam, so has the purple ninja failed this day. I must go to don the black do-rag of shame. Poof! The system is built on Margaret Weiss Games' Cortex engine and heavily geared towards customization. Its main goal seems to be inclusion, and it does a pretty powerful job of that. Attributes and skills are rated as die types. A character might possess a wustastic strength of D2, but compensate with Legolas level agility of D12. It's a simple and straightforward mechanic, and it works. The magic system is perhaps the most difficult part of the game in that it wants to be everything at the same time. It's ostensibly successful, but it's kind of like a vlogger who never actually creates content and just shouts about their work on Facebook. It craves a lot of attention, is what we're saying. Combat is accommodating and fast, but very brutal, and the game makes no bones about your life expectancy. It seems to take every chance it can to remind you that with every move it makes, and every breath it takes, it's trying to murder you. Players are survivable if played intelligently, but death is handled with a very different attitude. It almost feels like the game wants to congratulate you for getting killed in the most interesting way possible, rather than being the guy at the end who crawls away with four funerals to attend in a lifetime's worth of night terrors. Fortunately, the Brotherhood doesn't just toss its stalwart Champions of the Light into the fray with a pointy stick and some beef jerky. Demon Hunters can be equipped with all manner of various and sundry weapons and gear. Everything from swords to assault rifles, from mundane equipment to magic weapons. Indeed, he is the bearer of foul steel, the flashing pride of the man-child. So, players can stock up on anything they need. That is, anything they file the proper requisition forms for. And that they've been approved for by the Brotherhood and they could be even located just then. So basically, whatever the Game Master allows them to have? Character mortality is checked by a resource called Plot Points. These can be spent to improve die rolls, avert imminent death, and generally allow the players a say in just how hard reality screws them over. The system is intuitive and easy to learn, perfect for beginners and veterans alike. I like the point-buy system for stats and attributes because it doesn't rely on the randomness of dice. 
I honestly like the magic system and how open it is, and how customizable you can make it. You can write almost anything, but therein lies a problem. It needs constant GM supervision, especially when writing spells. I think it could be a little more concrete with more of a guide. The lethality is another aspect I really enjoy, because you can get some hilarious comebacks. Combat's a little iffy, especially since there are so few weapons and armors actually written up. All in all, a chamber from me. I didn't know what to think when I first went into the Demon Hunters game, but it won me over pretty quickly. It can be assumed that any game whose engine reminds me of the Cardinal system for Iron Claw will be a winner in my book. It does a good job of representing the source material and gives players and GMs alike the tools to add what they will without being too complicated. I give this a solid chamber. The system is quick and easy to learn with minimal mathematical nonsense to deal with. It's very freeform in places, with lots of room for customization. While I was initially concerned about the tissue paper fragility of player characters, I find that the plot point mechanic makes this far less of a concern. I'll give this one a chamber as well. Oh, and did we mention that plot points can also be spent to summon the purple ninja? The demon's life flees from its wrecked body. The worms that formed its corpora drip from your weapons and the walls. So I just saved our protection interest and killed the monster. If I'm gonna get some crap for that, or you're gonna just keep ignoring me. Cypher, take a memo. Today, Chapter Omega-4 met Korag the Whelp of Putrescence. Hereafter, he shall be known as Jerk Kildeezy, though we f***ed him up bad. Now that is just childish. The creature swelled inside the poor victim's body, spreading its worm-like, throbbing presence throughout her supple frame. It stretched her to her limits, fulfilling her. What's wrong with you? How are you our chapter lead? When it could take no more, it swelled and burst forth, a rain of slick white. A wave of viscous, cloying moisture that poured from her savaged cavity. I don't know what half those words mean, but it sounds like you're talking about fucking. Excuse me? I'm describing the emergence of the demon for our logs. We have to report to headquarters. It's posterity, you knobs. All right, Cypher, read that back to me. No. Well, this is an easy one. There is no support. At least, not in a classic sense. Taking this a step further, there's no support in the classic sense, yet. The best support available at this time comes in the book, and on the creator's website. In addition to the game itself, the designers cast and fully produced a 30-minute video that introduces the game to the prospective player. There's also a webcomic in the works that'll elaborate on the setting. Perhaps more to the point, the designers are working on a new supplemental book though the release date has yet to be announced. It promises to elaborate on the world, the magic engine, and include a tutorial on ways to construct campaigns. Basically, it sounds like it aims to add pretty much everything we're asking for. Which leads us to the main goal, awareness of the Demon Hunter's property in general. The Dead Gentlemen are trying to drum up enough attention and build enough of a fan base to justify remaking the Demon Hunter's movie series. We would really like to see this. And I really want to see this. Like, beyond all decency. Like, I would stab someone in front of their own mother to see these movies made. Seriously, guys, I will walk over your cold corpses. Because that's necessary. Rein it in, fanboy. That said, I'd love to see the series rebooted with the level of skill and resources these guys have to throw at it these days. Overall, I'll say that the Demon Hunters RPG is solid and well-made, and that the DVD is certainly a nice touch. The game really needs a supplement or two to flesh it out, though. My inner fanboy is just screaming at me right now, but the reality is, there really isn't any support for this game. And until there is, I'm kinda honor bound to drop a bullet on it. Sorry guys. There's not really much else that can be said. Until new content comes out, it stands decently enough on its own, but I'm gonna have to give it a bullet. At least temporarily. I'm pretty much in the same boat as the others. It leaves one feeling that it is a touch incomplete. I'm not too upset about that, because our recommendation remains solid nonetheless. So that was the Demon Hunters RPG. It needs a little work, but overall we can solidly recommend it. Stay tuned for our next review, and we'll catch you next week at Gen Con. Be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, we ride.
The Elder God's manifestation collapses, sucking itself into the realm from whence it came. You are victorious. Yes! Yes! That is what I am talking about! Cypher, take a memo! No. What do you mean, no? Take a memo, robo-slave. Yeah, you're really making it mad. I think the poor little guy's gonna snap. There! You see? They say these things have no emotions, but I have taught this one how to hate! I'm so proud of you, Pinocchio! You're becoming a real boy! You're becoming a real pain in my ass!